Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe. This is one that I make a lot. It's so easy and it's really good. The first step that you're gonna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So I'll do that. And then the next thing that you're gonna do is take a half a cup of butter, so which is equivalent to a stick, and you're gonna put it in a microwave safe bowl and microwave it for 40 seconds. It should be really soft, but not completely melted. You can use salted or unsalted. Um, I'm using unsalted. That's mainly what I buy. So I'm just gonna do 40 seconds. All right, so I took my butter out of the microwave and you're gonna take, I'm just gonna leave it in this bowl first. So we're gonna take a half a cup of sugar and then a fourth a cup of brown sugar and just mix it in with our butter. And I'm not gonna use separate measuring cups. It's all sugar, so it's fine. Like I said, you'll have a half a cup of butter melted, and then your half a cup of sugar and a fourth a cup of brown sugar. So I'm just gonna mix this all together. And then you're just gonna go ahead and add in your egg to this bowl, or you can all put it in your big bowl, if it doesn't matter. You're gonna add one egg and two teaspoons of vanilla. Your vanilla. I'm just gonna mix it all together. So you're gonna take your mixture, pour it into your bowl. All right, so next we're gonna add in our flour and you're gonna need a cup and three-fourths cup of flour. So I'll just take a butter knife, just level it right off. So there's a cup. And our last step is add in your chocolate chips. And you're gonna need a cup of chocolate chips. So I'm just gonna use the same measuring cup that I measured out my flour. There you go. Okay, and add that in. And get some mixing. So my oven is completely done preheating. And I'm gonna get a cookie sheet and we're gonna scoop these out. My big cookie sheet. I've got three sizes, but I use my biggest one. I'm just gonna scoop them out about a tablespoon. About a tablespoon. No, I'm not even kidding. These will last no time. And why I love this recipe is they stay soft even like the day after or two days after. They don't, don't normally last that long, like two days after we normally eat them in a day or two. But they stay soft and they don't get hard and they're not, like the bottom doesn't get hard. Or Normally I found like the store-bought chocolate chip cookies, they get hard. Like when you first take them out of the oven, they're soft. And then they always harden up and I don't, I don't really care for that. All right, 
Alrighty, so I have 12. I measured out 12. I'm gonna put these in the oven. I'm just gonna stick this in the refrigerator until um, these are done. And then I'll just take these out, put them on a cooling rack, and I'll measure out some more. So I'm gonna take these, put them in the oven, and cook them for seven to 10 minutes. I'll go ahead and set my timer for seven minutes and just check them at seven. We'll see you in a few minutes. All right, so my timer just went off. So let's check them. I don't think they're quite done, so I'm gonna put them in for about three more minutes, or two more minutes, I guess. Somebody's excited about cookies. Me. Are you excited? Yeah. Look. I'm ready to eat cookies. You're ready to eat cookies? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I think that they're done now. Yep, they're a little bit golden brown on the bottom. So they're a little bit golden brown on the bottom, so you can see. It's just the way you want them. They're not too, not too done. So I'm gonna transfer them to the cooling rack. And I ended up cooking them for nine minutes. The recipe says seven to 10, but seven wasn't quite long enough, and I think 10 would have been too long. So I did nine minutes at 350. Yes, they are. Now I'm going to measure out the rest of the cookie dough and get the other ones into the oven. All right, so the first batch I got 12 and then the rest of them I have six. So this recipe makes 18 cookies. So I'm going to stick these in the oven and set my timer for nine minutes. All right, let's see what they think. Oh, is it falling apart? Ooh. How is it? Good? Yay. You need some milk? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some milk. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And if you try this recipe, let me know in the comments how it turned out. See you in the next one. Bye. Mm. Delicious. Delicious.